Hi everybody, thinking of beginning as a freelancer but do not know where to start, how to start and what should be the first step. Don't worry, I am here to share step by step process how I started freelancing. I am also going to share some of the email addresses from where I used to get my work. Sounds good? Keep watching. My name is Trilekha. I make videos on English grammar, parenting, work from home ideas and I welcome you to my channel Luck to Learn. When I began, I had no idea what is proofreading, what is copywriting, what is blogging. So I was fresher just like you. Although I had acquired many skills while working with corporate sector. One of the strongest realization I have over the period of time is this one skill is the master of all. Yes, you got it right. I am talking about communication skills. So, whether you are good at English or at Hindi, you should be good in dealing with people. You should be good in talking to them smartly without wasting your time and their time. Having knowledge of English definitely opens more door for you. But if you are not good at English, don't worry, you still have a chance. There are work like data entry, copy pasting, merging many excel files into one that can be done with less knowledge of English. All you need to do is go register yourself on fiber.com, Verbit or Upwork. Make a good profile, highlight your skills and go ahead. Now coming to my journey and that is where you will get the key points from where did I get my first work. When I started, I started as a content writer. I registered myself on freelancer.com and I kept on waiting but then I was not getting any work. So what I did was I searched freelancer content writer groups on Facebook and then I joined those groups. What I used to do is I would leave my contact detail, email address and I would offer them low price as compared to other freelancers. I would uh, create a post there that I can uh, do this work in this much of time. So that's how one person contacted me and then he gave me my first work but before that he asked me to write a sample article of around 200-300 words. So that's how I got my first work. Getting first work is difficult. After that things become comparatively easier. Many a times you get very simple work but very tedious also. I got another work and it was correcting 100 spellings in an excel sheet. I was so tired I still remember and I was not paid enough for that work but then this person who gave me this work kept on coming back to me again and again and gave me lot of work because of my sincerity and punctuality. So at that particular time, at that particular period of time I was not earning very good but definitely I was earning good experience which helped me later on. So the key here is do not sit and uh, do not register yourself and sit to get started. Go to social media, use your social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. That is where you will get active people that can actually provide you real work. I will share some of the email IDs. You can just send a cold email and see if it works. You can also create post on Facebook or Instagram or your uh, maybe on LinkedIn profile like this. Uh, I can provide articles on urgent basis. I am willing to write articles. I am very punctual. Something like this to attract people and be flexible. Once you begin, you will get to understand things on your own. When I created such post, one girl from beingtheparent.com contacted me and then she asked me again to write some samples. Then we signed a contract and then I started writing for beingtheparent.com on a monthly basis of course on a higher rate. So my profile is still there on this website if you want you can go and check as a contributor I am registered there. If you do not want to start as a content writer you can start as a virtual assistant. I have made a separate video on this topic you can go and check in the description box what is virtual assistant what they do. I forgot to mention few things there which I would like to tell you here. It's a permanent job 
you work for five days a week and initially for two months you are on probation period and once you get permanent you your earnings goes beyond 50,000 during probation period you can earn up to 30,000 now I would want to talk a little bit about blogging also if you are thinking to become a blogger if you are thinking to make blogging as your career in future then I would suggest you here I am not going to demotivate you, I am just telling you the truth. I would suggest you that make up your mind first because it takes lot of efforts, lot of time and of course consistency. There are thousands of bloggers who get registered every day. Of course those who work hard, those who give time, those who are devoted, they earn in thousands or maybe dollars okay but for this you have to make up your mind first that okay I'm going to start this work and I'm going to continue it otherwise I would suggest you not to start with the blogging thing so what are you thinking come on go and apply you have so many options there are other work from home ideas in the description box you can go and find the details there if you like this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and do let me know what do you think about these work from home ideas in the comment box thank you so much for watching me